Hi all, this is Madhumita from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today I am going to explain you about the Power Exchange Express CDC utility DTLU CBRG, which is a batch registration utility. Let's get started. This is the agenda of this utility. Like I'll explain you the overview, supported operating systems and few input parameters and some source specific parameters and use cases for specifying this utilities and parameters, prerequisites for running this utility and I'll take you to a live demo where I will show what are the required details we have to have in house and the syntax to run this utility and I'll discuss about the utility user usage nodes. Let's dive deeper. So if you use Power Exchange Navigator, it, it cannot be practically used to create or manage large number of capture registrations. So in that case, we will use the utility called DTLU CBRG utility to enable and create manage the huge number of registrations using a command line tool. So what this utility do is it adds capture registration and extraction maps for a set of tables and it can also generate before image columns and change indicator columns columns in the extraction maps when needed. You can make capture registrations inactive or active as per our need. And it also used to run a test run report on the scope of registrations. Note this utility creates all registrations with a version of 1. The utility cannot set a registration status to history and then create a subsequent version of the registration. So supported operating systems include i5 OS, Linux, Unix, Windows and ZOS. So these are the input utility parameters which I will explain you the use case of each and every parameters in the upcoming slides. So specifying we can also specify multiple sets of parameters for this utility uh, for example so this can be uh, i can set a, a set of parameters followed by the semicolon followed by the next set of parameters so that uh, if there are two changes like two registrations i want to make it active or inactive this can be done accordingly so now coming to parameter use cases so db type which will have the source uh, type for my case it is oracle so i am specifying as aura and the table name which will include schema dot table name condensed type we have three options full part and none so in my case it is none instance which is nothing but the db type parameter and the location that is a node name that points to the location of power exchange listener which manages the capture registration and extraction maps and this is a registration name user defined name and this is a source specific parameter which is aura opts in my case it is oracle so i am using aura op OPTS. So this uh, parameter will include a sub parameter called DDL file which is nothing but it will hold the alter DDL statements for supplemental log groups and also I have used replace and replace active parameters so and the RPTS call parameter it can be set to yes if you want to know about the column level informations and status is like in order if you want to make the registrations active then you can set it to yay create registrations with status of active or you can keep it as i which create registrations with the status of inactive so there are some prerequisites before running this utility which includes like your source listener should be up and running and power exchange home must be set followed by other environment variables like uh, ld library path path must be included in the power exchange home and the config parameter while running the utility should be specified in case if you use a custom db mover or pwx ccl pwx ccl is not needed in this case so in case if you use a, a custom db you want to have this config parameter set so this is the utility syntax utility name followed by the CS which includes the location of the parameter file input file and config is a custom DB mover name so see this is a screenshot I have attached like first run uses status I so this will uh, create a registration with status inactive and if I status status A so this will create a registrations with active status. Now I'll take you to a live demo where I will show how to run this utility. 
so yeah uh, as i mentioned before your source listener must be up and running and so in my case like when i started the logger i could see the logger loaded this particular registrations so for my example i have taken restart issue 2 so this is the table name so now what i'm going to do is this is the input file which i'm going to give uh, for this utility which includes db type table name is a restart issue followed by the other required parameters as i explained before now uh, before running this utility make sure you have the ddl that is a sub parameter so in my case it is restart to issue ddl statement that that must be present in this machine and as soon as i give this command like ddl u utility name followed by the cs and config parameters it has worked fine and these are the output results it will show it will just show the connection pool details discarded pool and it will show for which table we have made the changes registration details it will display to us now uh, if i go and uh, warm start the logger it will see like uh, the restart information too for that particular registration is not there because we have set the active status to active to inactive so when i warm start the logger that information is not available and it is not loaded by the logger as well now if you this is the output as i shown before so this is a user usage notes so in case if you want to use ms sql as a source then you want to additionally specify ld library path as environment variable must specify the value to the power exchange home as well and this utility cannot create capture registrations for oracle global temporary tables and if you try to register a global temporary table for this utility then there will be a no registrations created so for uh, getting more information or if you want to have more uh, details about this utility you can log into informatica portal we would love to hear from you you can drop us your queries in support videos at informatica.com or you can tweet us in our twitter account thank you